What's going on, people? It's your boy Dre. And today, what I want to do is I want to compare basically Glocks, Glocks line to Beretta, specifically the PX4 Storm line. And I want to keep this to uh, 9mm and 40. And the reason why I compare these two is because Glock has full size compact and subcompact and with the PX4 Storm in 9 and 40 they have full size compact and subcompact now by I mean now uh, as far as Glock I own all three classes with Beretta I just own a full size um, 9 <coughs> but uh I've held, I've held each one of them, but I'm really just going to kind of stick with, uh, basically the way I purchase guns and, you know, price, size, and capacity, and that's really pretty much going to be the theme of this comparison. Okay, for starters, <clears throat> we take a Glock, and, you know, I'm, I have a Gen 423, so... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be weighing in ideas from the uh, the Gen 423, uh, the Gen 322 from Glock perspective, so I can be completely fair. Now, for one, basically, you know, the Glock from a look standpoint, Glock is pretty much a Glock. You know they they pretty much the po the I like to call them the poster boy for a firearm because you know they pretty much look the way a gun like to me when I look at it it's just standard gun. Uh, PS4 Storm it's a little bit different because. You know, from that, that looks like a little, a bit more fancy, more of a busy look. You know, so basically, <clears throat> if I'm to be the judge from a look standpoint, PS4 Storm wins hands down. My, this is basically my opinion. You know, some people may not may not like the uh, look of the uh, PX4 Storm, but this is pretty much how I feel and how I view it. You know, and now from a, a grip perspective, <clears throat> you're if you're familiar with Glocks, you you familiar with the slanted, well at least Gen 3s, you know, where all Glocks have the slanted. Uh, angle, but with Gen 3s is where they have the the finger grooves where you can uh where you pretty much lock the gun in your hand. You know what I'm saying? So, but on the Gen 3s, a lot of people complain that Glocks are chunky. So when they made Gen 4, they put in back straps, a back strap system, and they made the uh the out of the box handle a little bit thinner. You could get a good, a better purchase on the firearm, but <clears throat> it's still for a smaller hand. For a smaller hand, the PX4 Storm definitely still shines in front of the Glock from a uh, from a grip perspective. As far as as far as actual, what is the word I'm looking for? I'll say as far as grip and um, grip lock, I have to get a grip lock to the Glock because of the actual finger grooves. But as far as getting your fingers around it, grip circumference, the uh, Beretta definitely gets that. And they also have a more straight up and down handle as opposed to the, uh, the slanted angle. You know that the Glock uses. So if you if you're not with the slanted angle, the Beretta's definitely gonna uh gonna win you in that department. And if it's if a Glock 
Gen 4 is still too thick for you. The PX4 Storm is definitely going to win you in that department. And they have replaceable back straps as well. Uh, this is the small. They have uh, medium and large. And uh, so I think that from a circumference standpoint, if you're more concerned of the circumference, you're going to want to go more with the, the Beretta PX4 Storm line. But from a grip lock and stable perspective, I'm a, you gotta give I gotta give that to a Glock because when you put your when you put your fingers around this gun, the purchase you get <clears throat> it, it's locked. It's not going anywhere because of the finger grooves in it. And the firearm design. Now, from a from a field strip and takedown perspective, you know this is pretty much. These are two of the simplest takedowns you just gonna you gonna find. You know, Glock, check, dry fire, kind of slide back, take it apart. You know. Simple. And PX4 Storm, even simpler. Pull these down. Take that out. Uh, where's my barrel? So, from a field strip perspective, I really can't give it to one over the other, but because they're both simple, but I I have to give that an actual draw. Uh, I will say that with the rotating barrel on the PS4 Storm, you have a you have a likelihood of getting. Getting a uh, getting caught up on your when you re, on your reassembly because you have to make sure this lines up. But after you but after you take it apart and put it back together a few times, you're gonna have you're gonna have the swing of it now. But for me, I, I, I would I would give it a draw on the disassembly. On the disassembly, <laughs> if I'm gonna be extra technical on the disassembly, I give it to Beretta because they don't have to cock the slide back any or dry fire. But on the reassembly, I have to say Glock because there's no, no chance of anything getting hung up. So to be fair, they I have to give it a draw with the advantage on the assembly to Glock disassembly to Beretta PS4 Storm. Now a lot of a deal breaker for a lot of people is uh having an external safety which Glock does not have an external well they have the trigger safety trigger guard safety and they have internal safety so you know if you drop this if you drop the firearm with a load around in the chamber, you don't have to worry about a round going off. But Beretta PX4 Storm lines, they all have the external safety, you know. So basically, this not, nothing's gonna happen. You know, you drop this, you can put this on safety, you pull the trigger, nothing, live round, anything, and the safety it, it decocks on a live round and. If you haven't seen to to what should make you feel better about decocking on a live round is you see that's the firing that's the firing pin or block or whatever whatever that's called. You see that turns up as I flip the safety on. So you don't have to worry about a live round going off because the firing pin is turned turns up as the hammer comes up so it's not hitting anything. You know, just 
because it's just it's always <laughs> your heart stops when you see when you see this hammer come forward and <laughs> when you fire your gun and you have a live round you're gonna think a live round is gonna go off but to rest assured that as you the safety the safety switch it's turning the uh, firing pin upward so from a safety perspective I have to give that to the Beretta pigs for storm just because of the external safety. That's if the safety is your concern. If the safety, this external safety is not your concern, you you want to give that to a Glock. Now, from an actual design, that's where Glock is going to beat out um the pigs for storm as far as and, and I'm speaking design as far as uh when you're thinking about concealed carry because the Glock it has a it has a pretty much it's pretty streamlined you know the the slide release is minimal you know but here this is pretty much you know when you're looking at this you can see how how the uh let me turn it this way. You see how pretty much the slide. This is the uh safety that protrudes. Other side, this for some reason that's uh I mean from from an unlocking the slide perspective, it's it's really easy to grip. And get down. I mean, but the Glock is as well. <clears throat> but just as far as sticking out, yeah, the Beretta, especially if you're gonna carry this out the waistband and like on the right side, just the chances of this rubbing up against your skin that prop that may irritate you, may not. But I would I give that to the Glock just because this is more of a uh, stream like design. You know, this is not pretty much on, you know, because, you know, when you when you can see it carrying this potentially is up against your up against your body inside the waist, man, is what I speak about. And uh, see another thing for me, for me, the mag releases is, is very important. And uh, the pigs for storm. Has a very responsive uh, mag release. Every time, every time I press it, it's gonna the mag drops, and you can actually flip the mag, the mag release from one side to the opposite side on the PX4 Storm. On Glock Gen 3, I can't, I, I'm not, I can't give it to it because certain times the the mag release doesn't work with it. I mean, not that it doesn't work, but you have to push it with a bit of force to get the mag to drop with it being so small. But that's something that they fixed with the Gen 4. And also with the Gen 4, you can flip it to the opposite side. So, from a mag release perspective, I don't know. If you go in Gen 4, to pigs for storm, you gotta give it a draw. But if you're going Gen 3 to pigs for storm, you gotta give it to the pigs for storm. Because this is a responsive mag release. Gen 3 mag release. I'm not saying that it doesn't drop when you push it, but you have to push this with a lot more force on the Gen 3 than you have to push on the Gen 4. Another thing is price. <sighs> Glocks can go from four ninety nine to five ninety nine. Pigs for storm listed at five fifty. So that's like right in between. And actually, at the at the Beretta Gallery here in Dallas, the guy he he the list of prices five fifty, and he sold me 
sold it to me for 480 plus tax. So, you know, that's even better than uh, the 499 from Glock. So, if you come across the either or, if you come across one of these there, I would just have to say that they're really close to the same in price. And also, let me discuss capacity because that's another important factor. The Beretta PX4 Storm 9mm full size, 17 rounds, compact, 15 rounds, subcompact is 13. Uh, the 40, the full size is 14 rounds, comp, full size 14 rounds, compact 12 rounds, subcompact 10 rounds. Now with the Glock, full size 9, the Glock 17, that would be 17 rounds, Glock 19, compact 9, 15 rounds, Glock 26, Comp the subcompact nine that's 10 rounds now with the actual 40 caliber Glock 22 15 rounds Glock 23 13 rounds and Glock 27 nine rounds so from a price to capacity standpoint you got to give that to on the nines on the 9mm, definitely the Beretta P4 Storm wins. But with the uh, the full sizes will cancel each other out because they're both because they are both actually 17 rounds. But on the compact and subcompact, they uh is where they get. Well actually the subcompact is 15 as well. But the sub subcompact is where they went with 13 compared to 10. And with the actual 40, the Glock is pretty much, the Glock has the advantage because it has 15 in the full size, which compared to 14 in the full size of uh, Beretta, 13 in the compact compared to 12 in the compact, and 10 compared to 9. So, so nines are as far as full size and compact, that's a draw, but the subcompact wins in the capacity department. And on Glocks, the actual Glock wins in full size and compact, but the subcompact PX4 wins as far as uh, capacity, if that's your actual concern. Uh. So the last thing I actually want to talk about is the trigger pull. And basically that right there, that's a man, that's a, a big factor for some people. You know, Glock has a uh same, it's a pretty much like a double action pull. That's how it's a striker fire, but you know the, the trigger pull that's check. You never be too sure about checking if your firearm is loaded, but you know you have a pretty much same trigger pull each time. But you have a double action, single action trigger here, which is some people like, some people don't. But if you wanna, if you have a loaded one out. And pretty much you cock your slide back and you start. This is your single action. And that's a that's that's a hair trigger. A single action, that's a hair trigger. But the double action pull is it's a lot uh that if I'm gonna compare this the this double action pull to the Glock trigger, the Glock's gonna win that every time. But if you cock your hammer back and you go single action all the way through because after you shoot your first round you're shooting single action from that point forth so uh that me i have to go with the beretta's trigger just because of uh, it being a hair trigger 
and the Glock being the exact same trigger every time. And, and plus, just having the option of starting off in double action, you know, just because that could be considered, you could use that as a safety because it's going to take a lot to get both of these, to get the, uh, it's going to take a lot to pull this trigger. That is pretty, it's a pretty heavy trigger pull from double action. So I won't front. But if you like Glock's trigger, if you want the same trigger every single time, no confusion, you want to go with Glock. But if you if you use the double action, single action, you you probably you'll like the PX4 Storm trigger. But as an overall, one thing that I think that Beretta needs to do is take that, take the whole comp, the full size compact and subcompact, and go over every caliber just like Glock. You know, to give people more options because I feel like this is a great firearm. It's a great pistol. You know, then that that's my opinion. Uh, I've re seen reviews of so other people love it. You know, just to give people an option, and uh, I mean because you know, you're not gonna beat Glock's reputation. So if you're actually gonna try to compete Glock, you better match everything. You need to match every caliber that they cover. You know, and Glock covers Glock covers pretty much all of the main all the main calibers of handgun that I've heard of. If any, if the Glock doesn't cover it. I actually haven't heard of it, you know, from 940, 357, 10 millimeter, uh, 45, 45 auto, 45 gap, you know, 380, you know, Glock covers it, but as far as the pigs for store, they only cover 940, they have a 45, but it doesn't have a uh, subcompact or compact model. It just have a full size. But I think that the pigs full storm that needs to cover more calibers. But if I was to make if I was to say which one to go out and spend your pistol spend your pistol. <laughs> which one to go out and spend your money on? It's a toss. I say if you need a safety, definitely pigs full storm. If you if you make you want to make sure the safety is not on it, definitely Glock. But you can't go wrong either way. Yeah, I love both of them. <clears throat> I mean, it's in Gen Four Glocks, you know, with the replaceable back straps to match the the replaceable back straps of the PS4 Storm line. That just makes it even more fair fight. Because you're comparing it to a Gen 3, Pigs 4 Storm versus a Gen 3, I'm going to give it to the Pigs 4 Storm every time. But Pigs, Pigs 4 Storm versus the Gen 4 Glocks, that's where it's more of a, a toss for me. So, I don't know, check, them, check the Pigs 4 Storm out. I know you, you if you're in the guns, I know you've checked the Glock out. 